about that last Friday night, man. You had Bika versus Darrell, man. Bika kind of got dropped, but he hustled, he hustled man, back. Man, they snuck out. the place up, man. <laughs> it, see, I'm kind of mad at, at, at Darrell. I'm mad at him because on the way up, you was a killer. Yeah. You was a killer. Then, they put you in the big fight. You riding the brakes like a cat like in Philly on a snowy day. <laughs> right. And then now, now how can you be so mean on the way up? Yeah. And then come fight night for the championship, you fight like a puppy. Riding the brakes, hitting and holding, wrestling. This ain't MMA, this is boxing. Yeah. It's a fight game, baby. Yeah. You know, people pay to see the fight. Right. People going to rent money, lying to their woman, and, you know, and all this stuff, buying tickets, sneaking <laughs> and buying tickets. They want to see a fight, man. Yeah, yeah. You're fighting for the WBC World Championship. That's true. You got to take it from the champion, and then, right? And then you're unprofessional by walking out of the, out of the ring, yep. going to the judge without giving the interview. You know, so my thing is, uh, you know, who you are, who you are. Right. Now, I know I know, uh, Saki Obika personally. He's a friend of mine. He okay. Tra he's just training with Ronnie Shields has. Is he tough? Tough. Watching him is like watching George Foreman back in 1974. He's wow. a killer. He's a killer, man. He's wow. A, in camp, yeah. every punch you throw got dynamite on him. Wow. Every punch. No cap pistols. No 22s. All dynamite. <laughs> And Andre Durrell could have fought a much more better Anthony, fight. Anthony Durrell. I mean, Anthony Durrell could have fought a much more better fight if he just made his man to fight the guy back. Yeah. But he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. This is the Matrix, right? Yep. Yeah, he, he just he rolled the brakes. You know, I tell, he the place up, I tell people, you know, technically, if... Uh, now, we know the knockdown was legitimate, so it was a 10-8 round. Yeah. But it was questionable whether he took that point away from him for the low blow. If you take away that low blow... Technically, Bika won that fight yeah. on points. Yeah. So, really, he had two 10-8 rounds and still made it a draw. Yeah. And then Bika was the more aggressive, aggressive boxer, fighter. Not not so much a boxer, but fighter. Right. And he gave more of, he made more of an assertive a statement uh -huh. against uh, Mr. Durrell. Right. He fought like he wanted to win. He out-hustled it. Right. He kept Durrell trying to grab and hold. He steady punching. Yeah. That's what impresses the judges. Right. You want to win fights, you got to throw punches. Right. Like my man, the, the late great Emmanuel Stewart, my mentor. I yeah. heard him tell Jermaine Teller, if you want to make money, you got to throw punches. <laughs> Us. 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 This is Carla J. Carla J. Do your thing.